Good afternoon, Facebook and Instagram. It's Zoe from the Sling Consultancy for Future Friday. So this week we're talking about tightening, specifically your carriers and how the easiest way to do that might be. So I've got a cross strap carrier and a rucksack style or hate strap carrier. And we're just gonna show you um, how to do that. So I've got an Ergo 360 here. What we're gonna do is click this strap that connects the two shoulder parts and we're gonna have it nice and long and then I'm going to lengthen and the way that you just lengthen it is you just put your thumb in and give it a pull so you want these long so that you've got enough space you'll see why in a second so what I'm then gonna do is get my helpful demo doll <clears throat> get them in the right position this one is quite my big demo doll so bringing the carrier up, supporting. Then what we're gonna do is gonna just go down and grab that strap and put it over our heads. That's it. Then get your shoulders over your shoulders and put your arm through. Okay, now this is the strap that clearly needs tightening. So I'm just gonna put it forwards, forwards, forwards. Okay, same on this side. So you think, well, that's all your tightening, right? What on earth? Do I need to do that's my tightening done no <laughs> extra step what you need to do is take this slack around bring it down grab your shoulder strap and bring it here and now you will find you've got a bit more space to tighten I'm actually at the end of the shoulder strap on this but that is a much better fit on my shoulder than this one so you can see this is a nice snug fit this is a loose fit okay so it is not just as simple as going and doing this you need to take this round and when it's an eight strap carrier it's the same size so sometimes it helps to lift your baby a little bit and take that round so you can see now that's loose on my back use your chin if you like and just pull it down and then tighten again okay and then what you will get is a much better fit here often if you're not doing your shoulder straps up properly what's going to happen is there's quite a bit of space in here baby leans forward baby's coming away from your body i can literally get my whole hand in there and then it's just not going to be comfy because there's a lot of weight and it's loose so we want a really well fitting carrier in order to get a comfy fit now you will see i haven't touched this strap I, it does not need to be tight yeah these aren't falling off my shoulders i can tighten that if i if i feel like i want to just grab that piece and pull um, but you don't need that tight and it should be roughly there, maybe a little bit lower. Often people are having it right here to clip it up. That's just going to cause shoulder pain eventually when your baby gets a little bit bigger. So to take off, you just do the reverse. I'm starting to loosen, then I'll hold my, my baby or doll. Loosen enough. Just, just getting your thumb in like that. Support baby and just bring it over your head. So none of that trying to reach this strap behind your neck and that is how you tighten what's called an H strap and you'll see why that is called an H strap carrier because it looks like an H or it's called a rucksack carrier. Um, this one you can do as a cross strap but it's a little bit fiddly based on where the buckle placement is so it does vary not all carriers have that option of doing a cross strap. This one does so this is the Mamariga Zabulu slightly less structured than the ergo and this is cross strap carrier when you're using it as a front carrier so for this one I've got a, a, another strap so what I'm just gonna do let's see this is this has dual adjust which some carriers do and some carriers don't dual adjust actually does generally makes it a little bit easier in order for you to tighten so this time I don't have to put it over my head because I don't have that strap to click together so over one shoulder this is nice and long. I can go behind here, I'm gonna lengthen that so I need it a little bit longer, pull it down, and then bring it round to my buckle. Okay, and I can click that in. Now I can pull this forwards. That's how you do your cross strap. And again, same on the other side, supporting baby, bring it round. And again, if you need to lengthen it, you can just pull on that strap, bring it round to your buckle. You don't have to support baby because they've already got one point of tightening already. And then you're just gonna pull that parallel how it's going in okay now at this point you might think well are my shoulders tight enough what, what's going on here do I like you can clearly see that's not tight enough so what with a cross strap you need to do is take it around your back 
So it's a two-handed motion. I'm going to take it round like that. Can you see I'm pushing and pulling at the same time? So now I've got more slack here to tighten. I'm going to go backwards because I've used all of my front tightening. If you're finding it awkward to pull backwards, I tend to wrap it around my fingers and just do small little motions. So what you can see, I've got one nicely adjusted shoulder and one that's not well adjusted. So that eventually is not going to be very comfortable. So what we need to do is make sure that we've got them both lovely and well adjusted. I'm going to use my baby because that door's not sitting in there very well. Pulling it to the outer edge of my shoulder and pulling it, so you can see here, I'm pulling it round. Because what happens with your cross strap is it can pin the slack. So we need to take it to where we're going to tighten. So again, I've got more to tighten. You can use your other hand and pull. Now we have nice secure shoulders. Okay, so the key point with your tightening is you need to take it from your front part of your shoulder round to the buckles that are tightening. It's not good enough just to tighten this point initially. I'm seeing lots of um, uh, posts and things on social media where baby is quite low in carriers and that can be either the waistband is too low or you've, you've got too much slack here and so baby just sinks, sinks, sinks. So those are um, my key points for tightening. Um, if you have a ring sling, check my last week's Feature Friday because that covered how to tighten a ring sling. Um, it would be slightly different with obviously a woven, but essentially you need to take any slack round to where you're tightening. So with a woven wrap, that would be your knot. With your rings, that's your rings. With uh, a buckle carrier, it's your buckle, but again, it does depend on the buckle carrier. Um, so yeah, really useful tip. If you're finding it really hard to do that, just lift your baby's weight a little bit and then just sort of shrug and move, move. Um, because with a cross strap carry, if you've got too much slack here, what happens is the cross will slide up and these straps come really close to your neck. And this, you might see this as being normal. This is not ideal for wearing a cross strap carrier because this is pulling on your neck. So really we want this on the outer edges of our shoulders where it's really well supported rather than creeping straps. But that happens if we've got looseness here um, because it's always gonna just go round. Baby's gravity is always working down on their bum. So if I loosen this, you'll see what happens is the straps creep, there's lots of space here, and that cross is now really high on my back, which is not ideal. So take it round, bring it round, tighten. And what you'll see is that this will bring your cross much lower on your back and that is far more supportive. Any questions, let me know. Um, let me know if there's anything you want to know about um, for Feature Friday for next week. Um, if you have found anything, um, any of my social media stuff, really helpful, you can absolutely um, do a, a donate to me um, through my link in the bio. So um, have a great weekend, it's Friday, and um, looking forward to a sunny weekend.